All right, what's up, my friends? We're back. We're playing some more modern. We got a really, really spicy one here. This deck, um, I believe, 5 0 day league on Magic Online. Um, the list is a little interesting. Some sideboard cards are a little weird. But oh boy, is this a deck. What are we doing here? We are doing Electro Dominance plus Living End. So, most people are familiar with this combo. If you are not, I'll explain it real fast. Basically, you can cast a card with mana cost X or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. This allows you to play the uncastable Living End, similar to the way that Cascade works. However, unlike Cascade, we can actually put cards in our deck that cost less than two or less than less than, three, less than three mana. So, these two cards go together for a Living Death. Living Death, of course, a very powerful Magic card. So, we're playing a bunch of cycling cards to fill our graveyard up. Desert Ceradon, the old six four. You know, just draft commons. Deadshot Minotaur, 3-4, kills Flyers, Monsterisk, Arabid, 4-4, four, four, Insect, Street Wraith, sure. But, we're also playing Urbrask the Hidden as a way to give all of our creatures haste so we can just one-shot them, which is pretty awesome. And, to, to assist ourselves in getting this in the graveyard, we're using uh, Insolent Neonate and Faithless Looting and Cathartic Reunion. A lot of the usual graveyardy cards. Obviously we're playing Faithless Looting, best card in modern, right? And Cathartic. However, but wait, that's not all. We're also playing four Flame Blade Adept and four Hollow One. Taking a cue from the old Hollow One decks as a little extra aggro on the side. So we're already playing the Lootings, we're already playing the Reunions, and then of course every cycle counts for a discard for Hollow One. So if you just cycle three one drops, you can cast Hollow One for free. So free four fours that can't be fatal pushed. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Deck seems wild. I'm excited. Only plays sixteen lands and two spirit guides. Um, so pretty high spell density. And whew, yeah, this is uh, this is a deck. Cyborg's got Fairy Macabre. Obviously a good choice in this deck. Uh, Ingot Shore, Shore, uh, Anger of the Gods. Only one Blood Moon. Um, Four lightning bolts, I suppose for like humans and stuff like that. Possible rending ball is better. Two gutter balls, and amazingly, zero copies of Fulminator Mage. One of the best cards in Living Index usually. But that's the deck. This deck five owed. Uh, let's try it out because it seems pretty freaking insane. That was the green black deck we played. You missed that one. Look for it on YouTube. It'll be on there somewhere. Let's go. Is this better than Cascade? Living End? Um, uh -huh. Not being able to play any real spells in your deck kind of stinks as far as Cascade goes. So getting to, getting to be able to play actual Faithless Looting and Lightning Bolt and stuff is pretty cool. Love my thoughts on a Grim Tutor reprint. I don't think that card just... I don't think that card is ever going to do anything fun. You know? Uh, I think it would be... It's definitely possible. It's it's a pretty high-profile, exciting card. Um, but I I don't know about that one. All right, this is definitely a keep. It's turn one, hollow one, because we're so lucky. Reprint blue-green madness. I mean, it's cool with me. All right, Street Wraith in our upkeep. Sure. Now, you don't often do things on your turn one upkeep, but here we are. All right, let's draw double hollow one. Or lands. Um, we're going to discard land cycler. Yeah, I, I can always discard land land, honestly. These guys are just going to cycle anyway. We're, we'll draw lands eventually. Yeah, I'm just going to discard land land. Extraneous lands are not exactly useful for us, so... Overrun too. Cathartic Reunion. We're going to hold this one too. Um, just cycle through these things at first. Right. Yeah, I think Welder's fun. I didn't discuss Welder. There's so many possible cards. My article has 50 cards in it. Oh my god. Or should I get turn three? I, I this deck, these decks are so bad. It's like a three card combo. The best deck in the form plays Lightning Bolt. 
We just have no way to interact with it. That's so gross. All right. I also discussed the goblin cards in my article too, yes. Go check it out. All right, well, I guess they're gonna turn three us. Scarred Urabrask. Desert Ceradon. Oh, there's our living end. We are not there yet, though. I think we should probably not play Flame Blade Adept and try and cycle into Electro Dominance in case they don't kill us. I think Goblin Lackey might be a little much. Um, I don't think it would be broken per se, but it would put a pretty heavy strain in the format. I think this deck is very close to the top of my most hated decks in Modern. It's not that it's too good. It's just that it's actually the fact that it's not good that pisses me off. Because it's just this super fragile combo. It's a three card combo. They needed all three of these cards to do anything. And it's not good. But sometimes they just get you on turn three. Because they drew all three of their three card combo. It's like natural Tron, but they actually kill you. And you just can't, you just didn't draw, I just have five bolts of it, I can draw them or whatever, you know? I really, really detest this deck. Yeah, and you, you sneeze and this deck falls apart. You just look at it wrong. But sometimes you just don't have it and they kill you. All right, um, we're going to want, I guess we're bringing in some lightning bolts. They're going to have some graveyard hate probably, which kind of sucks. They kind of saw what we were doing. Um, all right. All right, we're definitely going to shave, like, probably Urbrass. I think his Spirit Guys probably come out in, in post-sideboard games. We just don't uh, don't need to go as fast to bring in interactive cards. Um, obviously, Living End plus Lightning Bolt is pretty awkward. I don't really want the Fairy Macabs either, though. Um... Like, if I return their combo cards and they just go off, that's kind of awkward. I don't think I want Blood Moon. Hmm. Let's take out... Alright, bring in Angers. I don't think I want Fairy Macabre. I want, like, three bolts, maybe. And then we'll cut... I guess the neonates are also pretty mopey. Uh, we're still keeping in our Hollow One Flame Blade at that package. Yeah, I guess I'm okay with this. Maybe with the fourth Lightning Bolt. Massacre or Submerge? Those cards are pretty... Eh. All right, let's go to Deadshot Minotaur also. We'll bring in the fourth bolt. I'll just not lose. I'll just, not, just not, not draw a bolt, you know? Helicopter. Hello, governor. Uh, Thanks for following St. Doom. If you haven't followed the stream, hit that follow button. Of course, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Happy Friday, everyone. Who's pumped for regionals? Whoa. What just happened? <laughs> ah! He's trying to move his mountain over here. All right, we can keep this hand. Obviously, Anger's great. And uh, we have redundant cards we can discard to Cathartic. It's not great, but... It is dumb if they just go turn to Devoted Druid. I probably have to Anger it, like, by itself, but... Alright, so hopefully we draw like an Urbrass we can discard to this Cathartic Union. Alright, there's a Noble Hierarch. Alright, we're going to Cathartic. Um, I would kind of like to wait, but I think we're setting up Anger on turn 3 anyway. And we're going to pitch one Electro Dominance and the Carabrid. I think we... We need we need a land to anger next turn probably. I can't risk not drawing a land. I'm sure I'll draw three lands here, but yeah, obviously. But all right, that that's really bad. 
That's an atrocious. We only we're playing 16 lands in our deck, so not drawing a land in the draw three is definitely a thing that could happen. So we're playing it safe here a little bit. It's an Anafenza. Eidolon of Rhetoric. We can't win. Okay. So we, we can we can we can never living end anymore. Because and we can and we cannot remove this from play. Because we can only cast one spell. So can't cast bolt and anger, can only cast one spell. I guess I can just fireball it, right? How does that work? If I electrodomin if I if I dominance it dominance it for four, I can't cast the card because it didn't die yet. So I can't Electro Dominance it for four and play the spell off Dominance because it didn't die to state base effects yet. So... Because the creature doesn't actually die until um, state base effects go off. All right, so they have a company... Pretty rude start to our, our league here with our super fun deck. For those confused with how that works, basically the dominance will deal four damage to the Eidolon of Rhetoric. But it doesn't if if Dominance said destroy target creature, then you may cast a a card, it would work. Because you would kill the creature, the creature would die, and then you would do it in the middle of the spell. The problem is that creatures don't actually die until the stack is empty and they check state-based effects, so it wouldn't actually be dead yet. This is just gross. Alright, it's fine. Want to have Flame Blade? So I'm casting Anger of the Gods. Oh, it's passing priority? Yeah, that's what I meant. A priority pass. I get the company again. <laughs> Alright. Sign me up. 5-5. Five, five. Don't kill me, please. There are a few cards off of killing me, so I'm sure they'll company into Vizier and Devoted Druid, but... Five mana, four, four. On the board. It's actually not bad, because it, it's good with our anger. <laughs> uh. Well, they have their two-card combo. Do they have the third card of the combo? <laughs> probably not. Well, they didn't upkeep Scry, so they probably I mean, they have Canopy. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Leibold's lame. All right, they don't have it yet. Oh, they can't cast more than one spell. <laughs> they have a, they have a seer in play. They can just sacrifice it. That's pretty funny. <laughs> What's up, Hude? Yeah, Leibold's is kind of a miserable a miserable magic card. Oh. My hollow one. Well, it seems like they don't have it. And we're about to anger their entire board away, so... That's cool, I guess. Alright, attack with Noble Hierarch. You got it. Angry. I can't, can't cast any more spells, so I guess I'm F6ing here. Yeah, they're playing around Blood Moon, so... 
it's pretty common for decks to just play around Blood Moon against any mono red deck, so the Blood Moons aren't nearly as good usually. All right, so they scry a million times. That scry wish to the bottom. I deal with a brick. They scry to the bottom. Maybe they'll sack the Eidolon by accident. Scry to the bottom. Nope, that was top. That's bad. Still scrying at the top. All right. Well, here we are. We draw one land. We can dominance the Eidolon. Even though we're not really... All right, they have another company? Ugh. All right. I mean... Let's get a whiskey here, you know? A little whiskey whiskey. It's kind of cool if this card has utility beyond just being a combo card, you know? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, fantastic. That's a company right there. Don't. All right, good. I'm scared I had an auto yield set. All right, light him up. Thanks for everyone. We tolerate Blood Moon in Modern because it's already there, and the cost of removing it from Modern is much higher than just not printing back to basics. I would be, I would not be phased if Blood Moon was banned or just not legal anymore. I'm not gonna call for its banning because it's like whatever. But if all of a sudden Blood Moon just was gone one day, I'd be really happy about it. I don't like Blue White that much. I think Jess Guy is much better. I've always hated the blue white decks. They're too reliant on um God damn it. They're too reliant on uh on, ter on Lucky Terminus. Welcome aboard. Alright. We can't take the two and kill it because it has five toughness, because the as the, the exalted trigger, so. I guess we'll try again this turn, I guess. But now we're not gonna be, not gonna have any dominance left. Um are there even decks that I like in Modern? Not really. Modern's kind of like just a bunch of of bad decks mashing into each other for the most part. Uh, all right. I think now we're like almost out of do we only have one dominance left. I guess we have no choice. We just need to do it anyway. I could play Adept and Block and then Bolt it. Yeah, we'll see if that works. J Mac, thirty five months. You're awesome. Thirty five Jindo M G. Everyone chose love and chat for J Mac in his 35 months of resubscription. That's awesome. Show some love. If I don't see love being shown, I will ban someone from chat at random. Noble in play makes that not a thing. Plague Crafter? Uh, Alright. That sucks. Hmm. Well, like... What are we gonna do? Why would they do that? Why not attack with Eternal Witness also? I don't understand. Three, four, five? Yeah, I mean, we're just dead. Ugh. I could bolt Playcrafter and buy one more turn, but like, I don't know what that turn actually gets us. Uh, no, 
I can't even cast that card. Gross. Anger. I can't even cast anger. What am I doing? Her press. It's a magic card. Um, bolt this. Take three. I don't even know what our outs are though. All right. You bolt Blake after we take three. If we draw anger, we can mop up a little bit. All right, you've gotten us with your Eidolon of Rhetoric and turn three kills, opponent. Modern's fine. I like Modern. I'm just saying that it's not like Modern has, like, you know, Modern is just a bunch of different decks. That's why it's cool. The fact that there aren't any good decks in Modern is kind of why the format's cool, obviously. You know? Thoughts on every uh, War of a Spark pack having a Planeswalker in it? Uh -huh. No Lightning Axe? Yeah, Axe is pretty good. The list seems a little weird, honestly. Like, no Fulminators and no Fulminator Mage anywhere is weird. Um, some of the numbers are a little weird. Like, Insolent Neonate's a little... It's it's kind of cool, I guess, living in, but... But, um... Cyborg's kind of weird. This just a list of 5-0. I'm just playing the list as is. Like, Axe is pretty sweet. Like, there aren't a ton of cards we need to actually discard... Like, Urbrask is the only card that we actively want to get in our graveyard. Uh, like so. Alright, this hand's cool. <laughs> it's as cool as you can, uh... This might be a sample hand, actually. Yeah, I'll sample hand this. I'm gonna sample hand a little bit. And we're keeping it, you know? The big dumb seven drop? No, what's that, Dan? Inquisition? That makes our hand a lot worse. Oh my god, that makes our hand a lot worse. Just trying to have some fun. All right, let's just draw. Let's just draw um, looting or mountain. Mountain's good too. Um, I think Street Ray thing is pretty aggressive. I might want to wait till turn three. I'm going to wait one turn. What's up, Joe? Thoughtsies. Angrath's Marauders? What's that card even do? It's a hollow one, all right. God damn it. All right. I honestly think I just keep an herb rask in my hand to cast. They're not doing anything. Like, I don't need my sixth land here, you know? Like, I'm going to keep an herb rask in my hand. You can't stop me. Black Cleave Cliffs, go. What's my opponent up to? Flame Blade Adept. Eh. Um, Alright, I'm going to flashback looting here. Just dump the Herb Rask and the Flame Blade, probably. They probably have a bunch, a bunch of removal spells, so... Street Wraith Hollow One. That's gas. Alright. Nice Fatal Push. Dope. Dope. Get cheesed. Hollow One again? That's cool.
I mean, Nina, Nina seems awful. Like, Nina does not seem very good. Um, let's just do it. Just discard the mountain. Like, Nina, Nina is like a really, really bad faithless looting. Oh, we did it. I feel like we're gonna kill our opponent with the hollow ones before we even need, like, need to do this, but. Ah. Boo. Boo. Yeah, <laughs> I did anyway. <laughs> All right, hollow ones. You great. All right, so if I thought these, thought these, Inquisition, and they died. So probably some sort of hateful cyborg stuff coming in here. Uh, I don't really know how we want a cyborg though. Ingot sure doesn't seem like it does much. Fairy macabre, anger, blood moon, lightning. None of these cards do anything. Run it back. Run it back. Mario Pyromancer? Could be. Yeah, we can just cast Urbrask and Desert and Ceridon and stuff. I mean, I don't think I want to play a 3 3 for 5 in Ingot Shure. Urbrask is gas, though. It's kind of cool, but like Electro Dominance is just like a fireball, you know. Like, yeah, red, red X. What's it? Volcanic Geyser is not a great magic card, but it does play, you know. Oh wait, I'm gonna remind everybody to check out CoolStuffInc.com today. Not only is Cool Stuff Inc. your number one source for all your Shopping needs. Use promo code Jim Five for five percent off your off your order. Also, my articles five thousand words on Modern Horizons. I rate fifty potential reprints. Five thousand words. Check it out. Coolstuffinc.com. Leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know what's up and uh, let me know what you think. All right. Look, Baleful Strix, Veteran Explorer, Brainstorm, Symbiote, Dust Bowl, Living Wish. It's cool stuff. All right, we have drawn Urbrask, Urb, ugh. So the problem here is this card is just terrible against a discard spell. We have double, uh, we have double cycle, I'm gonna keep. We have double cyclers, it goes flashback looting, this is fun. I hate, I hate mulliganing against um discard decks anyway. Evil Potato, new sub, what's your name, where are you from? Welcome my friend. All right, sure. D says, if they print Brainstorm, I will be remarkably unhappy. I agree. Mana Drain and Modern. Yeah, that's probably a... It's probably a, not a good idea. Alright, I mean, this is fun. Whatever. Just hope we don't know uh, Graveyard Hate, you know? Stomping Ground? Yeah, it is Jund. All right, scavenging use. What a jerk! All right. Uh, also playing around Blood Moon. Well, we don't really have any way to kill a scavenging use because we didn't see green in game one, so we didn't even know what they were playing. Uh, I think we're in pretty big trouble. How about no second green source? Could be a thing. Okay. Start. Man. If only we had a 
Street Wraith. And nothing else. All right. Another flame blade adapter. All right. Plan B is coming along here a little bit. Um, hmm. I almost don't hate just casting and looting. Like, they're going to start working on the graveyard, but at least I can get these Urbrask out of my hand and just draw some stuff. Alright. Yeah, I'm just going to flashback looting. Damn. So close. Yeah, actually, you know what? We are pretty close, close to actually casting Urbrask. Maybe I do want to just keep it. Gives Hollow One haste, too. In that case, I probably dump... Yeah, dumping Living End is pretty interesting. We are, we're going to have multiple... We're going to have far more creatures... I mean, I we can't dump Living End. The thing is that, like, we're going to have like four creatures in the bin. They can eat one, but we'll be able to at least wrath this thing and get one or two creatures back if we draw the thing next turn. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of the Flameblade Adept. I don't need a second Flameblade Adept. Like, we're not casting the Flameblade Adept next turn, and if we cast Urbrass the turn after, it's not going to be good anyway, so... No kill spell? Alright. We can just cast Hollow One next turn, too. Eurobrask, the hidden. Ain't hide anymore, you're right here. Alright, do they eat our Eurobrask? Duress. Should discard a living end. Who's a brask? Who? You're a brask. All right. Only one green source is fantastic for us. Um, I'm in 25th at SCG ranking. Sounds about right. I haven't really looked at the leaderboard in a while. I know I'm not. I know I'm not in top sixteen. So, all right, what cycle? Street wraith. All right, cycle. Cycle. I mean, we are Urabrasky next turn, so I'm a Brask, you're a Brask, she's a Brask, we're all Brasks, yeah. They're just not doing anything. This is awesome. If they have Coligan's Command, this is a blowout. But I feel like they would have cast it last turn on the end step, maybe. We'll see. Ah, oh, crap. God damn it. Still have all these Urbrasks. They only have two guards left, and they only have one green source, so we're getting in for four next turn. And then all of our future creatures will have haste. It's not easy to kill this card. You can't fatal push it, can't lightning bolt it. Five mana four fours are where it's at in modern right now. Up, oh, can't win. Ooh, no land. They have one card in their hand. It's not a land. Oh, that's actually pretty good. So now any 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 electro dominance we draw is busted. So this is exceedingly interesting. 
Do I kill the Scavenging Ooze or a Tower Striker? Tower Striker will take over the game by itself. However, Ooze is pretty good against my deck. However, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 9 creatures in the graveyard. So the Ooze has an unbelievable amount of work to do. Um, but if I draw a land next turn, this Tracker could easily, easily snowball and take over the game. I'm, I'm killing Tracker. It's the best card ever printed. Yeah, one, if they, if they draw a green source, it can eat two cards a turn. We still have multiple turns to draw an ele Electro Dominance. But if they draw a land with Tracker in play, I'm pretty sure we can't win the game anymore. What's up, Bronze? Thanks. Electro Dominance. We get some hype in chat for Electro Dominance, please. Can I get some of your energy here? We get a little chant going. That's, that, that's a playable modern card. This right here, playable modern card. We also have like a bunch of redraws, all of our cyclers and stuff. Get a little hype, please. Get a little crowd. Get a little noise here. Huh? Yeah, there we go. Make a little noise here. Here we go. That's a rebuy. That is uncastable. All right, that's bad. Um, now I'm just dead now. God damn it! This is four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're just dead. Boo! Alright, we'll try again. Uh, so now we know they're playing Scavenging Ooze. I guess that means you want some number of Lightning Bolts in our deck. Uh, this deck should play Spite Mare. Like, or no, Spite Bellows. It's like the Evoke creature that deals 6 to something. That card's cool. Image you a ferret, only one living end of a deck. Oh, we were dead on board, so. Nope. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna go cut the spirit guides. And. I got the neonates. I don't think we're in a huge rush. Let's bring it off for all four bolts, I guess. They're playing around Blood Moon. We don't, we don't, need, we don't need Blood Moon. Spike Bellows, that's the one. No Shriek Maw because we're mono red, you know? Need other answers. That is a hand of magic cards. Let's keep. I'm a dude. You're a dude. She's a dude. We're all dudes, yeah. I'm a dude. He's a dude. You're a dude. We're all dudes, yeah. I mean, obviously they're going to have discard spells and stuff. We at least have, have both parts of our combo and a hollow one. And a cycler, so like it could be cycler, cycler, living end, hollow one. You know, they're gonna thought Jesus. It's fine. We have not assembled our two-card combo once, but our opponent in round one assembled a three-card combo on turn three. You know? Minus three Karn! <laughs> minus three Karn, 13 months in a row. You're awesome. Show some love for minus three Karn. They're in the tank here. Jeez. Tank it up. Uh oh Another fantasy hockey notification? What's this one? Up. Oh. Dylan Larkin's dead. That's good. One of my better players went on the IR. Fantastic. They took the Cycler. That means they definitely have more discard. All right. Or Graveyard Hate of some kind. 
All right, so we get lucky here. We can we can cast Hollow One versus Life Cycle this. Yeah, cool. Hollow One does have cycling. I didn't know that for a long time. It's kind of hidden there in the bottom of the card, but it does have cycling. Wellborn, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. And welcome, our brand new sub, Wellborn. Nile Spellbomb. Sure. Why not play Dominance for two creatures? Because I didn't consider it. You are probably correct. You probably should have done that. We still can. Duress. Alright. Well, that sucks. Um, I should have done... Yeah. I should have done a lot of things here. I just didn't... I just... Yeah. My thought. My thoughts are big, not small. A little tiny value living end here actually feels pretty good. If I do it now and force the spell bomb, we just have both have nothing, I guess. But I guess we're gonna have nothing anyway. Oh yeah, it was, it was a big punt. I just screwed up really bad. Yes. All right. Four. Yeah. I think we just do it. They're going to spell bomb us, but they're going to get to draw a card, and the duress won't do anything, so, all right, sure. You blew it! Punt, 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 punt. Sometimes we make mistakes. Two hundredth punt. Wow, only two hundred punts. That's impressive. I'm awesome. Yeah, I mean it's not like the end of the world. It is a two for two. You're correct, but it's not good. I should I should just have two creatures in play. You know, uh, we're gonna cycle hollow one. We could maybe cast Desert Ceridon. Liana of the Veil. Vale. Mm. Lightning Bolt. Alright, I mean... I did combo, but it's true. I have, I have finally Electrodominance into Living End. Standstill? I don't think, I think it necessarily promotes the kind of gameplay that Wizards want to see, but it's it's a it's a possibility. All right. Um, I think we just say go. Discard a land. Am I interested in the in the electro balance list? I'm playing one right now. Yeah, I mean I can kill Liliana, but. All right, well now now I might just now I'm gonna do it, but I wanted to just hold this. Um. Yeah, I mean four lands against nothing. Their top decks are better than ours, so I was pretty fine just happy holding this and hoping to draw a living end. Um, now we're duressing us, so we have to cast our spells, so we're just gonna kill Liliana here, I guess. Think our top decks are better? I mean, not really. Like, I don't know. Like, they just draw a Scavenging Ooze or a Tarmogoyf or a Tyler's Tracker or something like that, you know? Monstrous Carabiner. All right, cycle. Not having the ability to actually suspend Living End kind of sucks in these fair matchups. Like, suspending Living End is like a real thing the uh, Living End deck does when you are, you know, just. Uh, resource light in a slower game like this.
Yeah, like that. All right. Electro dominance off the top, please. This one I'm playing at regionals. Not likely. Not likely. Playable modern card, Huntmaster of the Fells, is back again. Dominance! Uh, that's a magic card, I guess. Next turn. Just you wait. Next turn. Crap. Terminate? All right, well, now it's in the graveyard. So if we draw a lot of dominance, we will kill our opponent right now. <sighs> yes, I screwed up. I punted the game. I know. Here we go. Never punished. We punted that game. We should have played the, the Living End on turn two for the two creatures, or turn three, or whatever it was. We would have had a a Deadshot Minotaur and a Street Wraith in play, which are both fairly durable creatures. They can't get pushed or lightning bolted, and they might have gone all the way. So we punted. We suck. We'll try again. We're trying. We've only successfully cast Dominance... Revealing Living End once, and it was for nothing. We'll try again. We'll try again. While waiting, I might have better check out bcwsupplies.com. bcwsupplies.com, number one source for all your supply needs. Not only do they make awesome comic book boxes and stuff, they also have a great gaming line. The new BCW Deck Guard Elite 2 sleeves are out there. Awesome. As well as great deck lockers and deck boxes and zipper binders and stuff like that. Check it out. Cool. Uh, bcwsupplies.com. Use promo code JIM10 for 10% off your order. Whew. Damn. 10%. That's a lot. <clears throat> Ace wants to know if I have thoughts on every pack in War of a Spark containing a Planeswalker. Magic is dying. Sell all your cards. This is the end of Magic as we know it. Sell all your cards. Flee! Flee for your lives! <clears throat> you can try Gem 20 if you want to, but I can't guarantee it'll work. Also, while waiting, remind everyone to check out CoolStuffInc.com. My article today, because our opponents aren't showing up yet, 50 potential reprints for Modern Horizons. That's right. 5,000 word article. Check it out. CoolStuffInc.com. Oh, that's an ugly containment priest. Check it out. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let's try again here. We can do this. This hand is good. It's very good, actually. It's phenomenal. Mountain. Soul Scar Mage. We, we, can, we can beat Soul Scar Mage. Hollow One. We do draw a lot of lands, I'm not going to lie. Oh, we did it. Now let's draw another hollow one. Yeah, it's fun. Um, discard Spirit Guide Mountain, probably. Spirit Guide seems pretty bad. Truth be told. Hollow one. And hollow two.
Now what? Swift Spear. Sure. Faith is looting. Sure. Hollow One's kind of busted. We've had a lot of good Hollow One draws. Not a lot of good uh, Living End draws, you know? Alright, draw step. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. We Now we have our combo, but we, uh, we have better creatures in play than they do. <laughs> we have a spirit guide and a street wraith in our graveyard. <laughs> okay. Um, we're not close to cathartic reunioning at all. I guess we're attacking... They could double block and like gut shot or something. Um, let me cycle a dead shot Minotaur and see what. Give us give ourselves a little more info here. That's not bad. Just dump this reunion and try and find some creatures. Set up for next turn. Yeah, Cathartic has not been very good. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to cast this. It's not going to have enough cards in my hand. I want to actually discard. So discard these two. All right, I'm going to attack. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked. Yeah, maybe I could have, like, maybe they, I, I just say go, and they get their prowess thing so big that I have to chump block. Like, they could, they could just, like, kill me this turn. Yeah, that's probably stupid. Well, I shouldn't have attacked. Oh, they're, they're killing my stuff? Thank God. Light up a stage? Why not light up a stage first? I'm going to get back their Phoenix. Light up a stage revealed. Arc Light Phoenix and Skewer the Critics. They're attacking for so much damage. We punted this game so badly. God, I played awful this game. I'm playing really awful with this. Like, I need to tighten, tighten, tighten up. What am I doing? Like, I just don't attack last turn. What the hell was I thinking? Like, <laughs> now they just have a, a bolt and we're at six. Ugh. Deadshot, Spirit Guide, Street Wraith. Suppose the... Yeah, I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna do this on their turn. We're gonna attack them and we'll do it in combat and just hope you don't die to two burn spells, which you probably will. You might be okay here. Nope. Why would they do this? They have, they they could have just killed me. All they had to do is lava spike, skewer the critics, and I was dead. But now they're dead. Wow. We suck, but our opponent. Well, they suck even more. Magic is all about who, who can suck less in, in any given game. That's unreal. They could have just killed us. All I had to do. Lava spike, skewer the critics. We're at six life playing mono red. What are we gonna do, you know? 
Yeah, they, they just lava spike the spectacle. They lava spike, and they guess you're the critics. It's a pretty simple sequence, you know? But, all right. All right. Most things are like that, where mistakes matter more than good play. Okay. Um, well, that was cool. We, we played horribly, and we still won. I like it. What's, um, what do we want here? Anger feels kind of important. Fairy Macabre, also kind of cool. I don't know why these bolts are not. I think Spirit Guides and Herb Rats are coming out. Um, why well, have I got Dragon Claws in the sideboard? I don't know. Uh, Neonate's pretty bad. I kind of like Anger and Macabre. I don't like the bolts. They're going to have Surgicals, probably. It probably doesn't matter that much. I mean, Neonate does block. That's fine. So maybe Neonate's... Is, are these Flame Blade Adepts actually good? They don't seem very good. I don't think we're going to beat them with Flame Blade Adepts. Let me just board all these out, actually. We'll board out the... Maybe we'll leave Spirit Guide, too. I'll right, we'll board out one herb rask. I don't think the haste. We'll try this. Bringing angers and macabs. No bolts. Drop a couple street wraith. That's not a bad idea. I just don't like the idea of bolt. Eh, I'm just gonna leave it. We'll be fine. Need bolt for Eidolon. They have Eidolon on their board. We don't really cast that many spells. Like, we just cycle a lot. And play Hollow One every game on turn one. All right, we're gonna keep. What was I thinking? Attacking last turn. What was I thinking? We have the combo all rolled up. What are we attacking for? It's block. Make him kill our creatures, then combo. You know, jeez. Thanks for following everyone. If you haven't followed, me with that follow button. Of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. My name is Jim Davis. If you're just tuning in, welcome. We're playing some fun modern decks on the eve of SCG Regionals. And uh, we'll actually have some fun. Usually we stream here during the week if you're new. Welcome. We play Arena, we play Standard, Modern, Legacy, Limited, and we play everything. Currently in the middle of our new Bronze to Mythic Limited series. I'll be playing more of that uh, next week. Maybe on Sunday. Damn, we just combo every time. Alright. Um... I think we're gonna just cast looting and try and find some lands. I guess if we nah, what should they go? Is if we draw a land, we can looting into a hollow one next turn. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll just cycle. Bant turns. I think every taking turns that can modern is pretty bad. No light up a stage, please. Off. Perhaps today is a good day to Lightning fight. bolts, you're the critics. Oh, that's pretty scary. That is much, much worse than uh, a phoenix or something. Thoughts on mono green. What What the hell is mono green mid-range? I have never heard of that before. What possible payoff would there be for going mono green? Alright, cast looting. Anger. Uh, I don't know if we're in the market for anger. I guess we're pitching dominance and snow covered mountain. So let's keep the anger for now. I mean, we're playing both hollow ones, which is pretty cool. Make them deal with that, I suppose. Hmm. This feels pretty good. So they have three cards in, they have some bolts here, and we're at a pretty healthy 13. We have our combo lined up. They kill these things, we just combo. It's not mono green, there's hydroid crisis here. Yeah, I don't know why you'd ever want to play this deck over like Ponza. Deck. 
Bolt targeting us. Crap. Bolt targeting us. We are, uh, they have three cards in hand and we're at seven. Bolt targeting us. All right, we get it. Double block. Okay. Well, we're probably dead next turn. So I'm just gonna cast Anger and I guess attack. Like, I don't know what else we're doing. Yeah, they could have another haste creature and, like, maybe kill us with a bolt, too, but they play a lot of bolts and we're just dead to the bolts, so let's, like, try and do something. They could have, like, gut shot. I mean, Bedlam Reveler, sure. Discarding Arc Light and Soul Scar Mage. Alright. Amusingly enough, our Deadshot Minotaur will kill the Arc Light on the way back in. Surgical Extraction targeting what? Electro Dominance? That is really, really crappy for us. They should have waited. Like, I would have attacked. I guess I could have cast it in response, but. Alright, well, now what? Now we draw a Snow Covered Mountain again. Looting Urbrask. Well, Living End is out of the question, obviously. Um, they have two cards in hand. And it's going to be really hard to block with Hollow One. Hmm. I want these lands for Urbrask. I'm gonna attack with one creature. If they attack me, I can block, and then Urbrask kill them haste with haste next turn. They are probably not going to expect a four power haster. So, Cabal Coffers is live, for sure. Best control deck in a Dredge Phoenix metagame? I'm not sure, honestly. All right, looting is really, really bad for us. It means Phoenix is likely to come back. Discard Surgical Mountain. All right. Lava Spike. Oh, come on. All right. Man, they Surgical Extracted my, my thingies. All right, um... I think we're just, we could maybe like maybe Flame Blade on the play is a little better. We're not really racing them, you know. Maybe we shave like. All right. I'm gonna bring the Flame Blades back in, and I'm going to cut the cut the Spirit Guides. I'm gonna cut one Street Wraith, one Ceradon. To make Surgical not as good against like bringing things back. And I'm going to probably call it a day. I mean, the combo wasn't even good because we had two four fours in play and we had not much in the graveyard. I think I like this. Alright, maybe we'll leave a Ceradon in. We'll cut a second Wraith. Actually, I guess Wraiths are better with the Flame Blade Deaths anyway. Alright, fine. We'll cut the... I'm gonna cut the... Mm 
Let's just cut the... Whatever, cut the angers. Uh, AV, you have a link to that Esper deck? I'd like to see that. Fairy Macabre can help cast Hollow One. Scry... I probably want that. Yeah, just wait. Just say go and have turn two, holo turn two double Hollow One. Just go cycle, cycle, cycle. Hopefully, this is hopeful, but... Looting, discard two phoenixes. God. Tried. <laughs> this is some, this is peak modern right here. Peak modern. Just discarding a card to make four fours on turn two. Doesn't even do anything. I guess it goes to the graveyard, which is cool, but. Alright, so I'm probably gonna attack here and have, like, have a lightning bolt. I think I definitely just block both. Yeah. So they bolt one, they shrink it, we trade Hollow One for Lightning Bolt and one of their creatures, which is good for us. This is all fine. Why'd they save the... Oh, they have Gut Shot too? Alright. That's fine, I guess. Living End. No. Oh, looting? Looting sucks. We're so light on cards. Alright. Cycle. I said looting socks. Street Wraith, Fairy Macabre. <sighs> Guess looting gives me two more looks. All right. This deck is not going very well. Uh, the Hollow One aspect of the deck has been pretty good, but we have. Very, very rarely cast a living end for any value at all. This deck 5 would a uh, 5 would a league on Magic Online. Oh god, they're going off. Surgical extraction has been called. God, they're gonna surgical my my looting. Ugh. Why did I keep this looting? They surgical hollow one? Sweet. I mean I've made one egregious error. That was my fault, yes. People, so I complain I get sometimes that I'm playing loose because I don't seem interested in a deck. This is a deck I just found on the internet. I have not played any games with it at all. So, like, I am learning the deck as I am playing it. That, that is part of it. I've obviously not played perfectly. I only had one really bad turn. But, um... Alright, I mean, we just need to draw the thingy. They have to deal a lot of damage next turn. I don't know where we're drawing to. Like, I mean, it's just like a living end next turn, I guess, but... I might just die anyway. Uh, Adept is also bad. Ugh. I think a block. It's like gain three life, but... I think I'd rather have another look at it. They get to spike. They have seven damage represented right now with two other cards in hand. Another bolt is... Lethal. 
So we're probably dead. This stinks. This stinks. Yeah, this thing does, does not seem very good. Um, it seems extremely finicky. As are most of the Hollow One Flame Blade Adept decks, it seems like, where Hollow One and Flame Blade Adept get added into these Faithless Looting decks as like a plan B, but it often ends up just being better than the plan A, it feels like. Sensor? I don't think Sensor's a playable mono card. Alright, they spike us, we chump block. Oh my god. All right. I mean, one living end off the top is all we need. <sighs> I think we are dead. All right. Um. The problem is, like, the the Hollow Ones, we don't really have any other pressure. So even if the Hollow Ones do, like, 12 damage, we still have to combo to win, you know? So, like, the Hollow Ones have just been kind of, like, awkward. I almost rather if we were just playing a more straightforward, at least a more straightforward main deck, and then maybe we board into the Hollow Ones when they board in Graveyard Hate. But we, we've cast Turn 1 Hollow One a lot, and it hasn't really mattered that much. Honestly, which kind of stinks. I mean, this Esper deck looks okay. I'm not a fan of four Wrath of God effects and four Cryptic Commands. It's very, very clunky, but... And an Explosives? Yeah, it's alright. I don't know. Not big on Esper Control. Usually when I've played against this deck, opponent prioritizes cycling the Hollow One to dig for the combo. Then why even play Hollow One, then? Just, like, play any other cycler that cost one, right? Ballister with the raid. What's up, my friend? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for raiding. Hollow One deck with Arc Light instead of Flame Wake. I mean, there's just like, there's a lot of tension when you build your Hollow One decks because the, there's just a lot of things pulling in different directions, you know? Modern, where 8 power turn 2 is only kind of okay. That's honestly true, though. Like, if you're not backing it up with something, you know, like, we're not playing lightning bolts, or, like, we're not really pushing them through. We're kind of just putting 4-4s four in play, and either they're good enough all by themselves, or we need to, like, assemble our combo anyway. And then our combo gets awkward because we have 4-4s four in play and nothing in our graveyard, you know? It's just, it's just weird. Alright. Alright, sounds fun. Like, what if the Adepts and the Hollow Ones were just more ways to discard cards and draw cards? You know, we'd find our combo more often. Celestial Colonna. Man, it's just fair decks all day here. Alright. Hollow Ones, please. No. No. Alright. Discard Urbrask. And I guess a land. Dead shot Minotaur. Alright, well number five. We have half our combo. And a decent clock. Watery Grave. Perhaps you're playing against the Esper deck that we just looked at. Oh, <gasps> it's combo time. Let's do it. Um, when do we want to do it? Oh, we have Herbrask. Let's do it. Let's do everything. Um, yeah. 
Draw a Lamb and get Cycle, too. They could have they could have Path to Exile for the Urabrask. That would suck a little bit, but... Yeah, one, two, three... So if they have Path of the Urabrask, we have three... Hey, Six, seven, I'm eight, nine, ten, to eleven power. This tomorrow. I keep waffling between is a phoenix and burn. I've got reps with phoenix. Just not sure if I want that kind of target on my back for first big tourney. Am I overthinking it? Yes, you are, man. Man, just play the deck you know and play it well. All right. Spell, spell, snare. Spell, snare does play. That will counter Electro Dominance. Um, is it possible we want to wait? No. Are you, are you kidding me? Get out of here. Wait. LOL. Pat the Exile or you're dead. Even if you have it, it's still pretty good for us. All right. Still have 13 power in blood. Nope, 11 power in blood. Coming in. Ooh. Ooh, a little electro dominance. Must attack. All right, so that's probably not a wrath. That's good for us. I could cast looting, but I don't really want to. I could just cycle these cards. Yeah. Cathartic's been pretty bad. We often don't have multiple cards we actually want to discard to it. All right, we're holding on. Do they have settled the wreckage? So I'm attacking. We do have a fireball in our hand, so. All right. Snap, path, block. Can't block this thing. It's got menace. I think Cabal Therapist is an awesome magic card. It is definitely not too good. <laughs> Alright. I mean, we're going to have, no, have no lands in our deck soon. Oh, Swamp Walk. Correct. Can't block that. It's got menace. Forgot about Swamp Walk. They got a Water Grave in play. Street Wraith OP. I am playing an Adept. And... I mean, I obviously don't have a Wrath. They would have cast it. Yeah, I'm playing. I'm playing this. They do have a Wrath, we can just draw a line of Fireball them out anyway, so... What is this? Kaya! Kaya's good. I like Kaya. I think Kaya's a good magic card. Exile my lootings. Alright. Aren't you just dead on board? Aren't you just dead? Oh. Uh, I don't think we cast that. We just attack and fireball them. They can't block. Yeah, they're just dead on board, so make them have something and fireball them. Kaya's great. Kaya's just a good magic card. Blessed Alliance. Target player gains four life. Good thing I have is fireball in my hand. Right? Three, six, seven, eight. Yeah. How do you like me now? Main deck Kaya gets my graveyard deck. Doesn't matter. Alright. They're going to have so much hate for us. It's going to be gross. 
Uh, I do want Blood Moon against them. Spirit Guide's gone. Cathartic Union's gone. Blood Moon's in. Man, we have nothing. Gutter Ball, Gutter Ball. And then what? And then you just have actual nothing. I guess Fairy Macabre is like, okay. Kai is a good magic card. One Fairy Macabre is in the deck. Let's go. And get sure why? All right, it's, it's got the combo. It's funny how our electro dominances are actually pretty good against them. So they're gonna path us a bunch of times. We just fireball them. All right. Yeah, I'll probably psycho hollow in this game. We do, we do draw a lot of lands. Our deck has 16 lands in it. We do seem to draw a pretty large amount of lands. Alright. Well, if I'd known I was drawing that, I would have kept this in my hand and just cast the hollow. Let's just cycle here and see what we draw. Alright. Well, we're casting hollow one, so... Eh. Sure. I mean, it's not bad. Street Wraith and another Electro. So the fear is they have Surgical Extraction and they get to Surgical my my um, my Dominance if I discard it. So I kind of don't want to discard it. Um, I can just discard the lands, honestly. No, we're casting the hollow one. <laughs> it's a 4-4. Make them deal with this. We have plenty of stuff in our graveyard. We'll draw more lands, you know. They're also going to path us probably anyway, so... That's gross. I mean, they eat my two best things. I get to bring my three straight wraiths. It's not bad. They're taking looting and street wraith, not my desert Ceradon. They have a wrath. That would suck. Uh... I mean, I'll cast that next turn. Don't think I won't. All right, well, they're probably gonna Wrath us, which kinda sucks, but I guess I'm gonna Fireball this Kaya and put our thing in play. I guess I could've just done this end step, and then they can counter it. Yeah, I'll, I'll wanna just do it now. I don't know. It's like player on Wrath or player on Counterspell. If I say go, they just Kai on my graveyard anyway. So, like, it's probably better to put off just doing it now. Surgical Extraction, Living End. All right. Well, they probably just let, let, let the Dominance resolve and they count over Living End. So, it's, it's like we have two copies of it. All right, so our Living Ends are gone. We still have these Fireballs. If they have a Wrath, we're in trouble. If they have a Wrath and we don't draw a land... Honestly, isn't that bad? If they don't have a wrath, they're probably just dead. So they have a wrath. Okay. Now you need to draw land. Land. Yes. In our sixteen land deck, we always draw land. Urbras the Hidden is here. Kaya, you're dead. Two, I only have two cards left. 
We have a 4-4 and some fireballs. Ugh, one fireball. All right, they have one card left. Man, Esper sucks. Don't play discard spells in your control deck, you know? We're definitely holding on to this. I'm just going to hard cast this, this bad boy. I mean, they path here, we can cast these. They don't path, it's also fine. They have snap path, cool. All right, the snapcaster comes in tapped. Yes, please. All right, I mean, the Ceridon Parade is online. How can our opponents hope to deal with such reckless Ceridons? Oh crap, what is this? Oh boy, we have a fireball at least. That doesn't, that doesn't kill it. That's bad. Draw a land, we're gonna have to kill this Teferi. Hello, best card in my deck. No path, no path, no path, no path. Oh, all right, hold on for a turn here. Hold on for a turn. We're one short of killing Teferi. We only have six lands in play. Kaya again? That's a lot of Kayas. All right. It's on. No cryptic, please. I got to cast this Desert Ceridon. Both attack the fairy for sure. And now they have essentially nothing. They have a Kaya, it doesn't do anything. They have a 2 1, and they have two cards in hand, one of which is nothing. Uh. No. Yes, no. Path, maybe. Kaya, sure. Kaya is lethal, it is true. We will have to deal with Kaya at some point. So it feels like they have Path, uh, which means that we actually need to need to Electro-Dominance the Kaya. So I cast the Ceridon, they Path the Urbrass, Chump Block Ceridon, and we die to the ultimate. So we're going to need to uh, Electro-Dominance the Kaya. So they're going to Path us. We're going to yeah, attack Kaya, the Block the Snapcaster Mage, and then we'll dominance the Kaya. I love Desert Ceridon. That's what I like. All right, the path to Urbrask. Another mountain. Chump block. I mean, I don't think they have a counter spell. They would have countered the other things we did over the last few turns. Oh, yeah. Desert Ceridon, get it done. What's our opponent going to do? We have three Desert Ceridons. This makes, the, this makes being 0-3 so worth it.
Oh. Snapcaster path, my Desert Ceradon. But I don't have any Desert Ceradons left. Just kidding, I did. Only five lands left in our deck. I'm not casting that. Ceradon. Pawns got all the expensive, expensive lands and planeswalkers and snapcaster promos. We've got desert ceradons. Hollow one. Hmm. We have so much mana. We also have fireballs in our deck too, right? We have one fireball left. We only have one left. All right. Here come the desert ceradons. Also, we also have four fours for five. Which we're not going to cast yet. We're feeling pretty good right now. I like our spot. I'm not going to walk into a wrath of God here. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Hieroglyphic Illumination. We're basically playing uh, Amonkhet Limited. You are dead. Get out! Get off my plane! That was awesome. Let's go. We're gonna finish strong here. Desert Ceradon beat down. I like it. Good stuff. Great success. Whew. Whew. If you enjoyed that, raise your hand, please. Raise your hand in chat if you enjoyed that. And if you're just tuning in, welcome. My name is Jim Davis. Playing some modern today. Our next deck on tap is going to be Mono White Eldrazi. One match left with this deck, then some Eldrazi. We also played some uh, Green Black Rock today. If you missed that, I'll be up on YouTube. Everyone's having a good time. I like that. I like it. I like it. And I'm the one of the few people streaming Magic Online. It's me and Caleb. Plants and modern. Opponent was 0-1 going to that match. Boy, they, they're having a bad day. Imagine having this Esper Control deck and you're all like, I'll play some modern. And you lose round one, like a close match to whatever, and you're like, alright, I lost round one, that sucks. Then you die to hard cast a Desert Ceradon after hard cast Desert Ceradon. What are you drinking, Infinite? Sand place. Sand place. We have our Desert Ceradon. We're ready to go here. Please nerf. Too powerful. The endless expanse of desert surrounding Nakataman sometimes yields threats that the gods themselves must answer. Celestial Colonnade again? <laughs> Oh. Yeah, what's up, Tannen? Yeah, Nicole and I are playing uh, the regional in New Jersey tomorrow. Apple vodka and Sprite? It's interesting. Serum Visions, you got it. Is that close? Eh, it's like... Maybe two hours total. Ooh, Jess guy. Goodbye, Flame Blade Adept. Alright, we got one half of our combo. These neon are so bad. Um, Freed Mania, if you beat Brad Carpenter. 
I want you to come back into my stream on Monday and tell me, and I will personally give you a high five. Okay. We got it for one. That's cool. It's like shocked and declined to bolt because I didn't cycle anything. Sure. Oh, they had elimination. All right. Well, maybe I should have cycled, but I figured they were going to bolt and they didn't, and I'm just dumb, I guess. All right, cycle Ceradon. Is blue red through the breach just not worth playing now? I'm not sure it was ever worth playing in the first place. I mean, I'm sure it's as playable now as it was then. It's like a pretty finicky deck. A lot of moving parts. Lightning Helix, Electrolyze, something. All right. Cycle. Awkward. Uh, oh, that's not her mind. I'm stupid. I was thinking of the, the neonate I had in play, not the uh, cycler in my hand. Do I sack my neonate to play double hollow one into a possible wrath of God? I just play one. Hollow one's pretty durable against them. They can basically have to path it. I mean, I'm not doubling because they, they, they have a wrath. They get to really effectively answer it. So I think just, you know, single threat's fine. I don't have a land. Okay, that's interesting. So let's see what they do. Interesting. They didn't do anything. Just guy plays less wraths, yes, but just don't think it's necessary to push that hard. We didn't know they were gonna miss their fourth land drop, you know. If they wrath, I just draw a living end and win. Yeah, that would be nice, but Simeon's Spirit Guide. Right, I think I'm gonna play that. No. The spirit guides seem really, really bad. Like, we've had no trouble drawing lands, only 16 lands. And the spirit guides, like, I just don't think we ever want that. We got a Helix, my spirit guide? No. Cycle like, oh, another hieroglyphic illumination? Wow. Wow. But turn one living end! Yes. Yes, indeed. Right. Faithless looting. Cryptic tap team? That is the ugliest cryptic command I've ever seen in my life. Tap and draw. Good comeback, Tannen.
Hello. Yeah. This, this bug has been around for like a decade. Like the full art cards having the wrong borders. Like probably like upwards of five years it feels like. Alright, I'm attacking. What you got, fool? Yes, the red lightning helix. The gold cryptic command. Lightning bolt targeting us. Uh. Okay. What's happening? What are they doing? All right, I guess go. Okay. Do I take this opportunity to combo? I think it's pretty clear they don't have Wrath. So they're going to Helix. They're going to kill something. I can sack my Neonate. Pitch. They're Helixing us. Are they actually just trying to kill us? This is actually insane. I mean, I guess they're trying to like fire up Colonnade and just kill us. That isn't even like, it's not even close to lethal. Hmm. I guess I'm dead to three lightning bolts here, so I guess I'm going to try an electro dominance. All right. This is weird. We have one, two, three, four, five. So we have, we have a million creatures in the graveyard. So I don't need to sack the neonate or anything. Yeah, I do. I don't want to cycle hollow one, I don't think. Because if they wrath, I want to have a four, four to play after it, I think. I don't even know what's going on here. Yeah, I'm just going to shoot them for two. If they counter it, they can't... If they have three bolts in their hand, they don't have a counter spell, so... Nothing else makes sense. Could have Snap Cryptic, but that's also fine. I just kill them. I just kill them next turn, so... Could have Snap Bolt Bolt. I have no idea what's going on. I This game is being played in such a weird manner, I just have no idea what's going on. Alright, they're going to Logic Knot, my Electro Dom. So they didn't have the bolts. So... And they counted the Electro Dominance, not my Living End, which is good for us, I guess. What was I playing at the Legacy Tournament? What, in Syracuse? I just played Miracles. I had a bad headache and I played Battle Day and I didn't make Day 2. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess we just attack. Like, now they're just dead to fireball. Um, but, like, They have a counter spell, untap, like Colonnade bolt me. So I think I just wait till their turn to do it. I have this is this is like the weirdest game of magic ever. Tana, listen to what? You said we should play Terramander, but 
You didn't have you didn't have like a broken Terramander deck. You didn't even play Terramander. I wanted to play Terramander. Peter Mander. To Fairy. I mean, I guess we just fireball them in response. Right, whatever. Like, if they have... They have to have two basic islands and a logic knot. Yeah, like... And then, like, the Teferi is in play, I guess. I don't even know. Whatever. That was a weird, weird game. Alright, um... We're gonna gutter ball, gutter ball, spirit guide's gone, spirit guide's gone. Blood Moon's like fine versus them. And we'll cut like I mean Cathartic's really bad. Maybe I'll just leave in some spirit guides because Cathartic is so bad. Yeah, I guess. Cyber doesn't seem too good. It's like watching Michael Keaton play Magic. Is that a good thing? A bad thing? He was the original Batman, right? Not the original Batman, sorry. Obviously Adam West is the original Batman, but the first, like, serious Batman movie. Parole, what's up, my friend? You just arrived? You're not sure what you're looking at. This is a mono-red Electro-Dominance Living End combo deck based around using Electro-Dominance to cast Living End for, for free. And get all the cards back from your graveyard. It also has a Hollow One Flame Blade Adept side theme as well. It is quite the wild, uh, wild ride here. The best Batman, but not a great Bruce Wayne. I mean, I'm all about uh, Christian Bale. I'm sorry, Dark Knight Batman, best Batman, not close. Somehow uh, Ben Affleck managed to make Batman not cool. That's pretty cool. Not only are those movies terrible, but somehow Ben Affleck managed to make Batman and Bruce Wayne just, like, completely lame. Hedges, 11 months, you're awesome. Thanks, Larissa. Almost to the one year. Good luck this weekend. Scry goes top bottom. Flame Blade Adept, not too great here, but... Thanks, Tom. Appreciate that. Alright. Well, we got some Herb Rasks. I don't want to discard all these Herb Rasks. I want to just cast some of them, but we're going to cast this looting first to see what happens. I mean, Adam West was cool for what it was, but can't be... Silly Batman is not going to hold a candle to like real serious Batman, in my opinion. And should I counter this? I'm I'm cool with them countering this. This is card disadvantage anyway. Like I will cast the shit out of these Urbrasks. I will cast them so hard. I've already cast Urbrasks like 17 times this league. I will do it 17 more. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've cast more Urbrask and more Desert Ceradons than I have Living Ends in this entire league. Alright. So that means... <sighs> Uh, that's so bad. All right, uh, we're gonna we could we could Urbrass next turn. But I'm just gonna cast the looting and just discard this this terrible spirit guide. Gonna counter it? Please do. Please do. Oh, absorb me. Yes. Thank you. I'm casting Urbrask on turn four. Maybe if they go land go, we're not gonna cast into a cryptic command, but. Or are we? Or are we? All 
Nah, I was gonna cast the looting. Spirit Guide's so bad, I just trying to discard it for a real card. <gasps> Desert Saradon? Now that's a real magic card. Alright, what do I want here? Uh, I don't want to discard the Herb Rask, honestly. I might pitch Spirit Guide Saradon. Double Herb Rask is pretty good. Then I can like, flashback the looting and see what else we can find. Make them answer of his Flame Blade Adept. That's awk. Alright. Um, yeah, now we'll discard one of the Urbrasks. Is this gonna hit them? Can you imagine? Cryptic Man? Oh, sell the record, sure. I would happily get a land for your four mana Path to Exile. Serum Visions, you got it. Absorb. I mean, I like absorbing all, and all, but... Alright. So, now we need to think a little bit. Another looting? Man, we draw lots of lootings. I think I want to just raw dog my herb, my herb rask here. Let him counter it. Just try and get some action going so I can get my, my dominance up. Yeah. Urbrask, Urbrask, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when Urbrask comes for you? I mean, they clearly don't have path, so they would have path my my one two and not settled it. So their hand seems kind of airy. I don't have a counter spell or a path to exile. They're probably, they're probably gonna have like bolts or no? They they bolt or helix? They would have used that on the one two instead. So I don't know what's going on. They got nothing. Isn't Glorybringer better? No, because this card gives all of your creatures haste. So when you Living End, they all come back with haste. Could have Negate, Dispel kind of cards, yeah. That's lethal. I'm going for lethal. Alright. Yeah, Negates and Dispels, sure. Maybe like Surgical Extraction, Negate, Dispel... This is hilarious. This is just good magic here. Alright. Well. Uh, yeah. That was interesting. <laughs> um, so yeah. This deck seems pretty bad. Uh, the Hollow and Planch is a little weird. I like Urbrask, but the I don't know. We dump some hollow ones in the graveyard. I mean I mean into play. Then we attack, and if they deal with them, it's like a problem because we don't have any way to finish them off. Uh Neonate seem bad. Uh Spirit Guide seem bad. Cathartic seem bad. So I could see like some tormenting voices maybe instead. Um are there any Are there any ways hmm. Living in was the worst card in the deck. I mean, we got it off once or twice. It's very powerful. Like, we just didn't really get to do it, you know? Um, I can't believe there are zero copies of Fulminator Mage in this deck. That's, like, one of the better cards in Living in decks, usually. It's just, like, slows them down, chump blocks, eats a land, buys time, and it's awesome when it comes back. So I definitely want to try out some uh, some Fulminator Mages in this deck. Um, I'm not sure if you want the Hollow One package or not. It is pretty... Maybe you want the Hollow Ones and not the Flame Blade Adepts. Because you can just cycle these a lot of the time. But occasionally you'll have like a free 4-4. Four, four. But, I don't know. Decks like this are very, very hard to build. Um, the tension between Hollow One and Flame Blade Adept and discard things and having enough cards for your combo but not so many of it like you're overall in. It's tough. These decks are hard to build. But it's definitely an interesting deck. It's uh, fun seeing the things you can do with um, with Electro Dominance and Living End, of course, in Modern. And a pretty new, uh, pretty new combination of cards. It's pretty fun. Get to play cards like Urbrask, which is awesome. So, um, so yeah, so definitely interesting. I'm not unhappy we tried it. Two three is not the best result, but 
if I had not punted one of those games, we would have won that game, been 3-2, like usual. So, all right. Up next, we're going to play this White Chalice Eldrazi deck. But if you're watching on YouTube, uh, the video will end. So you'll have to look for that one in a different video. All right? So YouTube folks, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.